Sean Manning with In Motion and Headstrong Athletics uh, bringing you workout number one in our series of about seven or eight workouts. Um, what we're going to do today is put together a circuit of exercises. Uh, we're going to start out with uh, some prisoner step ups. We're going to move into some push ups, go into rowing squats from there. We're going to do some inchworms and some side lunges. Um, I'm going to give you some instructions to begin with, and then we're going to go through the circuit together. Here we go. Prisoner step-ups. Everybody want to make sure that your foot is flat on here. You're going to pop your right leg up, hands go back behind your head, and step up with the left and back down. Step up with the left, tap, and back down. Do you want to make it just a little bit harder? Drive up with that left knee and back down. Okay, going to go for 30 seconds on each leg or 10 reps, 10 to 12 reps each side. Switch up to the left side. Next exercise is going to be a push-up. Everybody knows how to do a push-up, but uh, rarely does anybody do it correctly. Make sure that you are either on your knees or on your toes. Uh, you're going to be hands to the floor. If you're on your knees, make sure that you're trying to create a straight line between your shoulders and your knees. On the toes, the same rules apply. Make sure you're not sinking down here at the bottom or butt up, okay? So from here, push up, okay? Toes, push up. Keep your head in line. Try not to go pigeon necking here, okay? If you need to make this a little bit easier, go to your kitchen countertop. Lean over the countertop and do the same exercise. Uh, you can even do this on your knees on a step at home. Hands on the step, pushing, okay? going to do that for 30 seconds. Next thing we're going to do is go into a rowing squat. Stand with your feet just a little bit above, uh, outside of your hips. Hands are going to start out. You're going to squat down, keeping your heels on the floor as you and your knees directly pointed in line with your toes here. As you come up, you're going to pull your elbows into your side, keeping them real close to the side of your body. So no chicken wings out here today. Pull them in. Bring those shoulder blades together in the back, kind of pinching somebody's finger if it was between your shoulder blades there, and then coming back down. Row, back down. Row, and back down. Okay, 30 seconds here. Okay, make sure your back stays flat. Don't want to see anybody doing this. Kind of act like you're bowing over here and stick your butt out. Okay? Going into the next exercise, this is an inchworm. For an inchworm, you're going to stand with your feet together, walking out on your hands, walking back, and then coming up with a flat back. So bend over, walk out until you're in a good plank position here, walk back, flatten out your back, stand straight. Bend, walk out, walk back, stand straight. Okay? Last exercise is going to be a side lunge with a, about a 45 degree reach in each side. We're gonna go out to the right, reaching out with our left hand across your body. Don't go all the way over so you tweak your back. Just out diagonally is fine. And then back, okay? Reaching out. Alternating sides, okay? So be from one minute. If you wanna do all one side at once, that's fine. Just do 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other side, okay? You're gonna go through those with about no to no rest, so about 30 seconds to rest in between each exercise. When you're done with that circuit, go ahead and give yourself about a minute or a minute and a half. If you don't need that long, then you can just continue on. Uh, but give yourself a minute, a minute and a half to rest, get a drink of water, start back with the next circuit. You're going to be doing anywhere from two to three uh, circuits, and uh, we're going to go on to some core exercises from there. Okay, everybody, we're going to get into the core part of the workout. We're going to be down onto the floor, so grab a mat or just uh, clear the area so you've got enough room to roll around here a little bit. We're going to start this circuit with a knee raise or a whole leg raise plus a side roll. We're going to do a side plank and a quadruplex, so just three exercises on this one. You're going to repeat this circuit uh, two to three times. Give yourself zero rest in between each exercise, if possible. Uh, at most, take 30 seconds and you're gonna take uh, about 30 seconds to a minute at the end of the circuit and then repeat again. Again, we're gonna start out with some knee raises and side rolls. So, what you're gonna do is lay on your back here. Hands are gonna go out in a T position. Knees are bent. 
you're going to raise your legs up. Hips are about 90 degrees. And knees are about 90 degrees. Roll to the side, right and left. Go back to the center. And then drop your legs, heels to the floor. Try not to bend your legs all the way up in here. You want to keep those knees at 90 degrees. Okay? Raise up, side to side. Back down to the middle, or back to the middle, and all the way back down. If you want to make this harder, do a full leg raise. Okay? You can even bend the knees when you get to the top here for the rolls. Okay? Back to straight legs, back down to the floor. Okay? You're going to repeat that for one minute. Side plank. The easiest version of side plank is to get onto the elbow and then put stack your knees and raise your hip off the floor. Trying to stack your shoulders here so you're not hunched over. Okay, go on here. You can hold like this. Another way to do this is either on your elbow with the leg out or on your elbow up onto your hand. Okay, the hardest way to do this is to go ahead and get up onto two feet. You can either put your top leg out front or you can stack your feet. Hand either on your hip or up in the air. Try not to let your hip drop here or just be too high. You just want to create a straight line between your shoulder and either your knee or your, your ankle there. Okay? You're going to hold that 30 seconds each side. Next one we're going to do is called a quadruplex. For quadruplex, you're going to get up onto your hands and knees. Okay? And you're going to lift opposites. So right arm and left leg are going out. Bring back down. Switch sides. Okay? Make sure when you're doing this, your right arm is actually going out about 45 degrees. It doesn't have to be here by your head. About 45 degrees and back down. Lift that back leg so it extends as far back as you can. And back down. If you need to make this harder, go up onto your toes. Okay? Lift opposite still. Good balance. Up. Ooh, and back down. Lift up. seconds to a minute, somewhere in that, that range. Okay, and that's the end. You're going to repeat after you finish those. All right, everybody, that's all we got for today. Uh, we'll see you hopefully next Tuesday at our gym. Thanks again, Sean Manning with uh, the New Balance In Motion program and Headstrong Athletics. Thanks.